The hill climb, a lung-busting eccentric genre of competitive bicycle racing. Largely untalked about really, outside of its little circle that it sits within. So I thought to myself, let's tell the GCN viewers all about it. I want to know exactly what's so appealing about it. After all, this doesn't look that appealing, does it? Hill climbs then, they are traditionally a very British thing, but more and more countries are taking some inspiration and having their own events. They run in a very similar way to that of a traditional time trial. So riders are set off at regular intervals and timed over the duration of the course. And the fastest is the winner. It's as simple as that, a very individual event. Now the people who are timing them are a pair of timekeepers, some at the start and some at the finish who calibrate their watches beforehand so that everybody is measured equally. Apparently, as well, the first ever hill climb competition was actually held way back in 1880 at Rygate in Surrey, which is just to the south of London, which means that those events would have actually been taken place on board the Penny Farthing. And they're hardly known for their climbing prowess or ability, let's face it. So I reckon rather than, than being actually a timed event, it was probably who could get the furthest up that hill. But fast forward 140 years and we're here at Haytor Vale in Devon in the UK. And well, we've now got modern training methods, modern equipment and even hill climb specialists. A buzzing scene, believe me. Since the first British National Hill Climb Championships, way back in 1944, we've had top road racers who've won them. We've had top time trialists who've won them. And also, we've had the Hill Climb Specialist. Now, the Hill Climb Specialist is a really rare breed, and it's not me just joking or anything like that. You don't tend to see them outside of September and October. I don't know what they do the rest of the year. They must be a little bit like hedgehogs. They hibernate, that sort of thing. But they specialise in these events, and they do everything to try and win them. And there's no better place to try and find them than national champs. What more can I tell you then about the hill climb scene? Well, it can be a lung-busting, blood-tasting, lactic acid-building, vomit-inducing effort, or a slightly more drawn-out effect. So here in the UK, that means that an event could be one with a time as little as one minute, or up to 15 minutes there too. And well, the season itself is actually really short. It's condensed into just two months, September and October. And of course, the national champs is the highlight of that. And the scene, despite being relatively small, is very, very popular. And the pockets of riders travel around these events. And each weekend, there's at least 10 events for riders to pick and choose from. It's great. This year's event takes place on the climb of Haytor Vale, which is just on the edge of the beautiful Dartmoor National Park. Let's look then at the details of today's championship course. Firstly, the distance. It's 5.14 kilometers with 310 meters of gain in elevation, which equates to, in old fashioned money or imperial measurements, 3.2 miles, and 1,017 feet of climbing. And well, the average gradient, that's 6%, and that doesn't vary, of course, across the two types of measurements. It's the day before the race, and there are a few brave riders having a quick recce of the course, so let's go and have a quick chat to them. Right, Kerry, we're stood almost near the finish line, and well, it's, it's absolutely chucking it down still, but what's your motivation to do hill climbs? Um. Well, I think first of all, you've got to be a bit weird to like them. So maybe I have to come under the weird category, but um, I kind of like pushing my limits. Um, I'm quite ambitious and, and so I like seeing how much I can hurt myself really. Yeah. Ah, for, for me, it's a hill climb's really raw. You know, it, it's a, a brutal effort. Um, it's man against the gradient and whoever's the fittest guy wins basically um, yeah. there's not much aero there's not much sort of science behind it it's just smash the pedals hard wow look at it it's wet it's cold <laughs> it's miserable <laughs> no it's uh i don't know it's, it's a weird one it's a little community it's the end of the season thing and i don't know it's nice you you see the same people every year and and it's good just get it out there it's raw tough yeah. put the hammer down and just see how you get on. 
Do you have any tactics involved? I mean, tomorrow is a totally different hill climb to some of them. You know, some of them are just over a minute. Tomorrow's going to be, what, 12, 13 minutes? Um, well, for this climb, I've particularly broken it down into, into three sections. Uh, so the first section, I'm treating it as its, as its own hill climb. Uh, the first three and a half K up until um, the flat section, which is then the second phase. And then the third phase is, is just the last kind of two minutes or the last kind of 800 meters to the line because it gets very steep at the end. Um, but yeah, I'm aiming to, to go very hard early on uh, and I've got some power numbers to stick to. I'm aiming for around 430 to 440 watts um, and at my weight around 58, 59 kilos. Uh, I hope to get that section done within nine minutes and then recover on the flat section and then finish it off at the top then. And finally, right, what's your motivation to go out in this? Because to be honest, I, I don't think I would go out. What's yours? Um, well, I've got a bit of um, support crew which <laughs> helped me today. So we went and had a cream tea in Bobby Tracy and then, um, yeah, so that helped get up the climb today. <laughs> Brilliant. Of course, Devon is famous for its cream teas. I've had a look at the weather forecast and I have seen that tomorrow is set to be a much nicer day. I really hope that it's going to be because I don't have any more clothes with me and I'd hate the event to be a total washout. Right, on that note, I'm going to go and get warm and importantly, get dry. Five, here we go. Four, three, two, one, go. So today is race day, and as you can see, the weather conditions are very different. It's still pretty cold, but it's nice clear blue skies and nowhere near as windy too. Now, I could go on and on and on and try and tell you about how tough and difficult hill climbs are, but instead, right now, I think we should show you a montage of some pain faces of riders battling it up here at Haytor Vale today. Some of you may also be wondering why riders aren't wearing helmets too. Well, events that are held under the rules of the CTT, so the Cycling Time Trials Organisation, you don't actually have to wear them. And that's not the only bit of tech which is sometimes missing because riders are quite often known to chop down their handlebars and all sorts, but there's going to be a completely different video all about that coming up very soon. Let's look at those paint faces then. Of course, an event of this scale can't be done without plenty of help. So the organiser has actually roped in 107 of his finest volunteers to make sure it runs seamlessly. And well, we've also got a load of spectators here too, literally hundreds, including Mr. Boom. Steve O. Right, you've literally just crossed the line and I grabbed you through exhaustion, so I'm, I'm really sorry, but how was it? Right. Yeah, it went really well. Paced it pretty well, but the last bit really definitely bited at the end. Yeah, now, the last kick. were you riding then to a pace the whole way up, just looking down at the numbers and... Yeah, I tried to hold it to the numbers the whole way so I didn't overcook it in the first bit, so that went pretty well, really, and then just at the end, just whatever was left. Yeah, I guess the crowd helps, doesn't it, to try and empty the tank? I see the top to the... Yeah. Age to the top and go. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, you're going to get warm. Well done. Thank you. Great ride. Now I have the pleasure to introduce to you the presentation party. And the 2019 National Men's Hill Climb Champion with a time of 11.37 dead from Swift Carbon Pro Cycling, Ed Laverack. Right, we've just had the presentation and luckily, for a first time ever, the GCN curse has not struck because, congratulations Ed, mate, you've just won National Hill Climbs. He nearly left me hanging there as well. <laughs> that would have been really awkward, but first thing, did everything go to plan? I mean, obviously you won, but did everything go as you'd hoped? Yes, uh, everything went uh, pretty much perfect, to be honest. Uh, like, I wanted to treat that first section of the climb as, a, it stand, as its own hill climb. So I went off really hard, sustained it, pressed on when it got really steep. And then uh, when it flattened off, took advantage of, of kind of the free speed. And then uh, the, the crowd at the finish, 
<laughs> like, you, you didn't need to look down your palm either. You didn't need to do anything. You just needed to go as hard as you could to the finish. Yeah. And the crowd was just incredible on that last section. Yeah. Now, right, if you could offer, like, you know, the people out like there thinking to themselves, oh, should I give it a go or not? I think the beauty of it, compared for me, compared to a road race, is if, you know, if you're not in the group, you're not going to get left behind, are you? Because you're just on your own out there. Yeah, it's your own individual effort. It's very, it's very personal. There's a lot of personal satisfaction to come from hill climbing. Um, but to be honest, like any local cycling club will, will help you out and point you in the right direction. Um, it's where I started. Uh, they, they'll, they'll find local hill climbs for you. They'll help you enter local hill climbs, give you encouragement as well, which is, which is a big part of it. But uh, yeah, personal satisfaction is a big part of, of the hill climbing scene and, and getting around that community atmosphere and having a tea, coffee and a cake afterwards. Is... And it's so, it's so open. And I think that's the beauty of, of this like, aspect of the sport, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's brilliant. And the 2019 National Women's Hill Climb Champion with a time of 1417.8 from Aero Coach, Hayley Simmons. Right, I'm here with Hayley Simmons now, who has won the women's event today and in quite contrasting conditions from yesterday where, well, you rode up there and nearly got blown off, I think, because it was pretty treacherous. Yeah, it was a really brutal headwind yesterday. It was obviously really wet as well. Um, yeah, and when I turned around with my big rain jacket, it caught, uh, caught the wind <laughs> and I thought I was thought I was going to come a cropper, but no, luckily stayed on. And today's beautiful, actually. It's yeah. a bit chilly first thing, but, uh, but actually I would say pretty perfect conditions for the National Hill Climb. Yeah. And did everything go to plan for you? I mean, obviously you won, yeah. but it doesn't mean everything necessarily went to plan, but I'm well, keen to find out. Well, yeah, to be fair, um, on the start line, so I tested my, I had two bikes with me. I had my race bike and then I had um, my bike that I was going to use for warming up because I didn't want to risk my race tyres. Yeah. Um, and so I tested my race bike and it was all fine. Went onto my onto my kind of warm up bike, connected to that power meter, did my warm up, got to the start, reconnected to the power meter on my race bike, and it wasn't showing me any power. Said it was connected, no power. So I rode the whole thing on feel. I had no numbers. So in terms of going to plan, I had a power plan, but I have absolutely no <laughs> idea whether I went, you know, did my correct power plan. But yeah. You know, I did enough to win. Right, so I arrived here yesterday. I was absolutely chucking it down. It's probably 15 years since I did a hill climb, and I thought to myself. Why would I ever want to do this? What what bits of advice or, you know, you know, how could you encourage someone to do it? Because you know, everyone now, right, they finish, is like, oh, this is great. But crossing that finish line, the looks on people's faces, I think at that moment, all they're thinking is never again. <laughs> <laughs> the atmosphere is really good. It's really friendly. Everyone in the HQ afterwards is encouraging you. And yeah. Just, you know, yeah, it hurts, but you've got to test yourself. And, yeah. and it's a really friendly environment in which to do so. Mm. Brilliant. There we are. If you're keen to get involved and punish your body, you know what to do. There we are. An insight into the world of hill climbing. And I've loved it because everyone has been so welcoming and they've also been trying to persuade me to take part in one. It's not going to happen anytime soon. But I've really enjoyed seeing the scientific approach of some people and the eyeballs out approach of others. And not to mention some of that cheeky little bits of bike tech that have been used too. Let me know in the comment section down below which GCN presenter you would like to see tackle next year's National Hill Climb Champs. Get involved down there. If anyone mentions me, don't worry, those comments will be deleted. But a huge thanks actually to the organisers of the event for welcoming us here. Remember, as ever, to like and share this video with your friends too. Don't forget to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. And now for two more great videos, how about clicking just down here and just down here and me I'm going to go and get myself a Mr. Whippy.